Hey guys, what's up? In this video we're gonna build a 12 inch subwoofer, especially the MTH30. Um, first I will show you what do we need to build this up and then we'll build it. Okay guys, first the speaker. Of course we need a speaker to build a subwoofer. Here we got a 12 inch sub speaker. Yeah, here you can see it. Nice, this is the T-Box. 12288W, it's an enormous cool speaker. I uh, already built a subwoofer with it, and yeah, why not again? The uh, price value ratio is like incredible for 55 euros, I think. You get so much. Uh, yeah, I just re can recommend this. Next up, uh, yeah, a basic corner handle. Okay, next, we've got these small rubber feet thingies. So next up, we've got some speaker connectors. Uh, yeah, these are from from what brand? From Neutrik. Neutrik uh, brand. The speaker cable connectors are very cool. I would say it's a kind of standard in speaker building, and yeah, really like them. So why not use them again? And of course the other side, which goes into the subwoofer. Yeah. Okay. Next, the wood. Uh, Twelve, uh, 16 millimeters MDF wood. Uh, on German it's called Mitteldichte Holzfaserplatte, but I'm not sure how it's spelled, uh, what it's called in English. But yeah, it's kind of a breast wood, very heavy. But yeah, it's quite cheap. I got this from a local supplier store called Bauhaus. Um, they are very cool because they cut it in size for you. You just tell them your measurements, and they cut it. Very good. Um, and yeah, you don't pay for them. You only pay for that what you get, so yeah, quite cool. And I think I got all the wood that we need for this build, uh, for, this build for around uh, 18 euros, I think. So it's quite cheap wood. Um, later in the video, we'll see the box is quite big, so yeah, the price is totally fine. So, and the last thing we use is paint 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 i got this from another local supply store but i think you can get every paint you want just a matte uh, non-reflective black paint um yeah i will use this because i have a half used can at home and i will get maybe two more so guys welcome back we are now in the workshop and now we have to yeah mark the point where the speaker comes to this uh wood where the speaker gets mounted so yeah we have to make a circle that is 28 centimeters big but first let's find out where the middle is Okay guys, welcome back. As you saw, we just cut out the oh, circle for this thing where the speaker goes in. And yeah, what is next? Uh, next I will draw the basic plan on one of the other sides of the uh, speaker. Um, and then I will start gluing everything together with normal wood glue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay guys, uh, welcome back. Short story, my camera battery died right now but yeah meanwhile it was charging i cleaned up the sd card so we got a bit more space to fill and yeah i also called a friend of mine which will help me glue this thing together Several song filled hours later. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, a few hours later, everything is more or less dry. Um, now we're gonna uh, make the holes for the speaker. Um, there are eight holes that we're gonna make. Um, we use these things here to mount the speaker. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, Google Translator says they are called Weft Mothers um, on German, Einschlagmuttern. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use this um, to just Mount it once, then um, demount it again, then glue this thing into the main box.
early the next morning. Welcome back guys. Next day, um, yeah, the box, which is, you can't see right now, but it's standing here, is dried overnight. And first what we're gonna do today is make the holes for these two things. Yeah, the handle and the beacon connector. I already marked them, so we can start. Okay, welcome back guys. First handheld um, part of this video. Okay, what I did now was cut the hole for this speaker connector. Um, as you can see right here, I just drilled a hole with a 10 millimeter uh, wood drill and then uh, cut it off with, with the jigsaw. And here, up here, first I um, cut out one piece because I can't cut through the corner with the jigsaw. but cut one piece and then it was slightly thicker than the mold and then I can cut it all out. But then I was, I uh, took this, uh, yeah, fully automated uh, grinder thingy. Uh, yeah, and made these round corners so that the angle corner of the handle grip can slide in nicely. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect, but it fits and I think it will tighten up the air. So we don't lose anything. Okay, that's it from now. What I will do next is, yeah, kind of sand all things down. Uh, yeah, well, like these um, glue thingies and all little bumps and scratches which aren't perfect. I will sand so it will be a lot nicer. guys boxes or the paint is not dried up um, yeah the paint trip is wow I'm not that happy with it but it works out and well next we're gonna mount all the things to the handle the rubber foot thingies the back connector and the speaker So guys, welcome back. Everything is mounted now and I am gonna try this thing out now. Um, yeah, I think you will get a small, cool um, close-up video of this one and maybe I will put a speaker test um, after this whole thingy. Let's see, um, yeah, build is finished. It, yeah, barely took around two days to build this thing. Of course, not two whole days, but you know what I mean? So today uh, a few hours and yesterday a few hours. Yeah, it turned out quite nice. The paint isn't the only thing that I don't really like about it now. But the rest is cool and yeah, I hope it does what it should do. And yeah, I will try this out and I think you will see it too. So, bye! Yeah.